What's up guys, John back with another video and today we are reviewing Fear of God. I haven't had Fear of God or I haven't reviewed anything from Fear of God in a long time and um, you know what's cool is that my wife's starting to get into streetwear or she she's just interested but she never really wore streetwear style but she was commenting to me that um, from my past reviews of Fear of God type of products that she loves the design, the simplicity of it, and um, you know the, the color tones of, of all the pieces. So I'm very excited to review this piece for you guys. <sighs> so I ordered the Essentials New Era um, fitted cap, and you guys know that I love wearing hats. I have all kinds of hats. I'm always wearing uh, hats in my vlogs, so I'm very excited to open this up. I ordered this online from uh, Casina. Which, um, if you guys if you guys don't know what Casina is, it's a local Korean streetwear company, um, and they curate a bunch of streetwear uh, brands for their um, for their customers. So they have stores, and I'll link down the video on my top five uh, streetwear stores or sneaker stores in Korea um, down below, or I'll leave a card up above so you guys can take a look at that. But um, this store, Casina. Um, they they dropped a bunch of Fear God Essentials stuff, so I'm very excited to open this up. Um, it looks like this packaging isn't that good. <laughs> they did have my um, address tape here, but uh, I'll just open it up with a, with a uh, box cutter here. I'm excited to see the packaging, actually. I've never gotten anything. This is my first time actually ordering from Casina, so let's take a look. Okay, so they got a um, online store. I think this is their, your receipt or something. I don't know. No, they don't have anything in here. <laughs> and uh, here it is. Here's the the Fear of God um, navy colorway that I got. I think it looks cool. I, I like that Detroit Tigers kind of look, so I'm glad he went with the navy, the black like the orange, um, some other colors, but uh, I don't really have a navy color cap, so I, that's why I went with it, and I'm glad he decided to um, go with this color. Oh man, this looks awesome. Oh, this, this is really nice. I love how it's like with New Era, actually. So this one was 79,000 won, which is about, you know, 75 bucks. Um, retail and I ordered it online uh, they gave me the wrong size uh, I, I, it looks you know my head's kind of small but they gave me a seven and a quarter so uh, I can work with it though I can work with it this is nice okay so it says 100% uh, wool China. I'll, I'll do a close-up on it for you guys to take a look. It has the MLB logo on the back, which is cool. And uh, it does have New Era on the back here. So, um, very nice. Very nice look. So, if you guys like rocking it, like flat-brimmed, you can do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on. It's a little bit big for me right now. That's why I don't really do flat-brimmed, because I need it rounded on my head. See, it's kind of big, but it looks good. I like it. So let's take some close-ups. Let's see the details. So I love the way it looks. The Fear of God logo looks awesome on here. I like that old English font. Just the shape of um, New Era hats are, are really good. So I got this es Essentials 5957. It does have the, the MLB logo in the back. I like how it's colored, actually. I like the red, the pop. It makes it look good. How, I love how the new era is stitched on the side. It makes it look extremely cool. If you look at the bottom, it does have a green uh, brim under underside. And on the inside, it says Essentials um, New Era 5950 made in China. 100% cool, fear of God. So, very cool. 
Um, I'm going to teach you guys if you guys don't know how to curve your broom. Okay, so you guys have your, your flat brim right here, and if you guys want to curve your brim to get the, that nice shape to look like that when you're wearing it, all you have to do is something very simple. You just grab a kind of like a thermos or a water bottle, and you're basically just going to wrap your, your brim around it, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to either clamp it down with a, um, basically, you know, you just clamp it uh, any way possible. <laughs> I don't have rubber bands right now in my house, so I'll just clamp it with a clothes hanger. Um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to starch it, but I don't have starch either. So, um, you know, this is fine, just to shape it. And you just leave it overnight, and uh, the next day, we'll see how it looks. All right, it's been 48 hours since uh, this hat has been curved. I didn't have time yesterday uh, to do uh, anything, really. So, um, let's take a look. So right now, I have it in uh, wrapped around a, a thermos, and I have some um, laundry clips here clipping it. But let's take it off and let's see how it looks. Um, you know, right now it's a little bit, you know, curved a little bit too much here. So you can kind of play around with it. It will eventually go back to its naturally, natural shape. So that's what it looks like right now. So if we take a look at the brim, it's nicely curved. Uh, I would ideally like it like this, but that this way, at least, you don't have to kind of press it yourself. So um, let's put this on, on head and uh, let's see what it looks like. This is what it looks like um, from the side for now, but it kind of elongates it. So I'm kind of worried since my, uh, this is a little bit bigger than the size that I'm used to. But um, you know, what do you guys think? It's a little bit loose on there, but at least the sides kind of hold the, the shape. It looks not bad, I feel. Yeah, I love this hat. I love the the color, the navy blue. So let's take a closer look at, you know, the details. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below whether this was helpful or not. Uh, remember to, uh, if you have some starch and an iron, what you can do is uh, you can do this before, um, but after is also okay. Um, but before it's a lot easier to, to iron it. But what you need to do is uh, you spray the starch on the, on the back, on the bottom, and you cover it with a piece of cloth, and then you slowly kind of iron it so on top of the cloth so that it maintains its shape. Um, but the starch will keep its shape for a little bit longer. Um, and on top of that, then you, you, know, you wrap it with the rubber band. But I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, please let me know down in the comments below um, if this was helpful for you. And if, you know, let me know how you, wear, you like to wear your hats. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.